What's happening everybody? What's going on guys? Today we are on a surf beach fishing mission. One of our all time ways on this channel to get down on some redfish and inshore saltwater action. That's right y'all, catching these fishies with toes in the sand. Oh heck yeah, got the waders on, light action tackle. Boom, and right there, right in the sand. So today in this video, we are going to show y'all how to catch these fish, toes in the sand, with a jig. Christy. That's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So when we are down here, as you guys know, we are always trying to find life, right? So when we're out on the water, just trying to find the life. Same goes for beach fishing. So you're gonna always be watching for the osprey. The dolphins, some people say that they're not your friend, but the kind of cool thing is, you guys know where the dolphins are, there's gonna be bait. So typically, all of these animals out here, very symbiotic relationship, these dolphins are gonna be corralling these giant schools of bait, which is kind of convenient for you, because if you can figure out where these schools are, you can probably get into some nice redfish, trout, and all your inshore stuff. All right, people, so today, Kirsty and I, just using light action trout rod, that's what we call it. It's like your normal inshore fishing rod. So this is like a 2,500, 3,000 series reel, uh, like 15, 20 pound braid. Typically, when, we're, when we know we're going beach fishing, we'll actually go a little bit lighter on the braid so that way we can get longer casts. And then our leader line, 15 pound fluorocarbon. What's up, yet? dog? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quarter ounce jig head. So we're using a quarter ounce jig head and just your favorite soft plastic paddle tail. Uh, so that's it right there. Yep, a little, <laughs> little paddle tail. Some people call it like, what do y'all use them little grubs in the surf? So anyways, you guys, so quarter ounce jig head, favorite soft plastic. We like to use paddle tails. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna cast it out about as far as you can. And it's just like your trout fishing, red fishing in uh, the back creeks and everything. So just make sure a lot of these fish are gonna be on the lower third of the water column. So some people, I take buddies beach fishing like this and they're just reeling it in like this. Don't wanna do that. You can catch fish that way, but a lot of these fish, they're gonna be um, like redfish specifically and trout. They're gonna be corralling bait. They're also like redfish are getting into sand fleas, uh, small crustaceans. So they're kind of digging through the sand and just corralling bait. We have. As Sorry, you can see osprey. behind us, you there's see the like osprey. It's literally washing up on shore because it's fighting to get a giant oh my fish gosh. in its talons. That's insane. I know. I'm telling you. So you guys, these osprey, I'm telling you, they are eating above their pay grade. They are trying to pick up some of the biggest there he goes. fish out here. I mean, oh. I'm talking like diving on giant redfish and quality trout. size trout, big Actually, of trout. So look at that. He can't even. He cannot even take off with his wings because that fish is so big. Did you know, fun fact, fun fact, if ospreys get a fish, they drop it, they never turn around. Oh, is that why? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. That's ben crazy. Franklin wanted to make an osprey the, uh, the, the bird for, instead of an eagle for America. That's insane. That osprey is struggling with a big trout. Yeah. But anyways, you guys, so that's right. what we're doing is we're Back looking to the for... Breakdown. So anyways, y'all, that is what we're doing here on the beach is we are looking for signs of life. We got all these osprey. There's probably 10 to 15 osprey right behind me. And there's also dolphin that's corralling the bait. This osprey, I, we might have to get the long lens and film this because this osprey down there he's has this like- He's on the beach. It's, yeah. Can't even take off because he's trying to figure out what to do with Also, him. osprey sometimes will dive on a big fish and because they can't release it sometimes, uh, if they get a fish that's too big, it will drown the osprey. That is crazy. It's pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure they were that's diving insane. on the school of reds earlier. All right, we're gonna put on the big lens because I want to show you all this. There's dolphin right there. In the okay. Yeah, y'all, this is crazy out here. Just so much life. Jeff and I have been surfing all week, and there's been so much surf, or so much bait in the surf. The perfect scenario. Again, we're, we have a high tide. Minimal surf, water visibility is pretty nice, green. We call it trouty looking water. Kind of green, uh, bluish green. Not super, super clear, kind of milky green, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. 
But these, uh, so it's like we have the whole circle of life in front of us. So we have the bait is getting pushed right up against the surf because our predator fish, like the, uh, or the target species, redfish, trout, um, striper, flounder, whatever, are corralling the bait right up in the surf. Sometimes you get whacked right past this little shore break. But there's dolphin that's corralling our target fish as well. So it's like the whole circle of life is going on in front of us. All right, y'all. So what we're looking for is a few things, signs of life, which are like birds hovering right above the water. And then we're also looking for uh, the sloughs, the troughs, deeper water. So when you're beach fishing, it's pretty similar to just fishing in like an inlet or a creek or whatever uh, in the backwaters where, you know, you're targeting like drop offs, uh, kind of ambush points that our predator fish are at. And uh, here on the beach, what these fish do is they'll tend to corral or just stack in these sloughs. So you can see where this beach kind of, I don't know if you can see it from my GoPro, but it kind of like bends back a little bit, this little wave. So it kind of bends back and it creates this little like slew, like a, and then like right here, this is also how rip currents are formed. Uh, you know, you'll have it where the sand kind of comes out a little bit more. That also creates like a current as well. Sometimes like in the outer banks where the rip current is pretty bad, you can see it. You can see the rip current, but it's really good actually for fishing. It's like a, when you roll up to a spot in a creek and you just see like a current ripping with all this confused water. Well, bait gets corralled in that, you know, uh, water and that confused water and all the current and everything. And the predator fish just sit there and pick them off. I like to see dolphin out the back, not here in the surf. If you see him dolphin out the back, that's good because that means they're pushing the fish we want to catch closer to us. Oh, there's a fish. Good one. All right, y'all hooked up. I thought I was hung up. That is a nice one. Really nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Dang, that is a nice drum. Oh, this is always the critical part, landing these fish right in the shore break. Amazing fish.